grade students. So today we're going to be working on standard reading literature 9.5, which is all about an author's style or an author structure. So today we'll be focusing on humor because that is what our author uses in her writing today. All right, so as you can see, humor in literature is not very different than humor in real life. So essentially, authors are going to want to make their readers laugh. And they will often use figurative language to add a little hilarity into their writing. In the text you will be reading today called With a Little Help from My Friends, Dumbest, the author, uses hyperbole, metaphor, and simile to make her readers laugh. And y'all will be looking at that. So hyperbole, let's review. A hyperbole is simply an exaggeration, an over-exaggeration. A metaphor is when you compare two unlike things without the use of like or as. I know that it is covered up, but that's what it is. And then a simile is comparing two unlike things using like or as. So they differ in that way. All right, so a hyperbole, yet again, is an over-exaggeration. Over Your suitcase weighs a ton. You've got a smile that could light up this whole town. This smile can't literally light up the whole town, but it might, it's a figurative device. It's exaggerating that that this smile is so bright, it could light everything up. This is the worst day of my life. Obviously, it's probably not the worst day of your life. And even if it is, it's probably not the worst day you'll ever have. That's kind of negative to think about, but still, that's a hyperbole. If you've ever heard Bruno Mars's Just the Way You Are, oh, her eyes, her eyes make the stars look like they're not shining. I'm sorry, but her eyes do not make the stars look like they're not shining. That right there is a hyperbole. That's all it is. All right, in these two videos, I will, this PowerPoint will be in classroom for you so you can watch those two videos. All right, a metaphor is when we compare two unlike things without the use of like or as. So, if you've heard Titanium by D David Guetta, I didn't think that was who sang that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's not correct. Whatever. All right, so this is a metaphor, though. You shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am Titanium, right? This person is not literally made out of Titanium, but this person is strong. So that is a metaphor for that person being very strong. With all the force of a great typhoon, be a man with the strength of a raging fire. There are lots of metaphors in be a man for Mulan, right? We're not literally a typhoon or a raging fire, but in this case, we sort of are, question mark? <laughs> In Elvis's hound dog, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. They're not literally a hound, but they are being kind of a rude person or a mean guy. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing dreams you can't catch. Because baby, you're a firework. Come on, show them what you're worth. These are all metaphors. That's all they are. All right, similes, in the same way as metaphors, they are comparing two unlike things, but now we're adding like or as. So think about No Diggity by Backstreet. Tell me who can stop when Dre making moves, attracting honeys like a magnet, right? That, like a magnet, is a simile. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull. There's the magnet again. Like a magnet do. Shape of you, Ed Sheeran. Oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl. Like a drug, right? These are all similes. She grants my wishes like a genie in a bottle. They're using like or as. 
All right, so that is our quick presentation on author style using similes, metaphors, hyperboles, and humor. And because I like this slide, we're going to look at it one more time. It's so funny. All right, so you will be reading with a little help of my friends. That is your task for today, and I will come back on with your instructions.